Oh. Hey guys, today we're going to show you how to make this awesome homemade plastic bag jump rope. Okay, step one, you need to find 24 plastic bags. Now that might be tricky because I know a lot of stores have gotten rid of plastic bags, but try to see if you can find 24. Okay, your next step is you want to flatten the bags. Try to get them nice and straight so that the handles are on one end, nice and flat. Okay, next you're going to cut off the handles on each handle and then flip it. And then you're going to cut off the bottom of every single bag so that what you have is an open hole. And then what you'll do is put your arms through. Your next step after you've cut all of those handles and bottoms off, you'll have these in a long pattern. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how to link these together. You're gonna take one and put it on top of the other. Underneath, you're going to take this bottom through the chain and tug it back. So again, one on top of the other, the bottom is lifted, pull through, and continue the chain. You will have a chain of eight bags and we will do this in three separate chains. So eight here, another eight will be here, and another eight will be here. Okay, now we have our three separate chains, each with eight connected bags. Now we're gonna take them together, and we're gonna start the first end with our duct tape and make our first handle. So you don't need a lot of duct tape. Your hands are pretty small. So I would say just maybe two pieces. Should be plenty. So now we have our handle. And then what's going to happen next is we have to make our braided rope. We're braiding this. So I'm leaning in. We always cross over the middle. So right now we have gray in the middle and then we're gonna cross over with white. Now white's in the middle, cross over with the other white. As you do it, pull down tight. So each time braiding and pulling. So we'll come back in a moment, but basically you're gonna do this the whole way. It's a little tricky, but each time you might wanna step on the end pull on it, and certainly have your mom, dad, grandma, cousin, someone who's in that house with you, have them assist. Okay, and the magic of video, we are almost done. Amazing. We're almost here, we get to the end, and now what we're going to do is we're gonna tape our other handle. Now I've gone ahead, let's see, one more piece. And as I was braiding, I chose to tape along the rope. It made it a little bit easier, and that will add a certain level of weight. And now let's take a peek. You have yourself your own jump rope. So you're gonna step over it. Remember your arms are bent, armpits open, shoulders. If you put your hands on your shoulders, and you rotate those shoulders, that's where the power is coming from. It's not just wrists. If you keep it just with wrist movement, this will suddenly become too small. If you keep your hands too high, you will think that you are unable to do this. But I'm about five, eight, so kind of tall. And this size jump rope with eight bags in each chain before we did our braiding, it should be plenty long. So as I come across, Remember, glue the feet to the ground, bend, have a little bit of space between the heel of your foot and the floor. Stay steady, big, whoopsie, hit the wall. Big throw forward. Once you hear it hit the ground, that's your signal to jump. So those big Ferris wheel arms, big circle motions. You can go faster, ah! You can do your step hop, back and forth. So give it your best. If you have some frayed areas, you certainly can take your scissors and just cut those off, but it should work. Good luck.